Okay, really cool store. Uh, they have a great selection, but the girl in there is awesome. And uh, I'm glad to pick up some Iowa whiskey. So I got this here bottle of what you saw in the store. It's uh, Cody Road, which it's named after Buffalo Bill Cody. <laughs> night I stayed in a little town called Rock Falls Illinois and I'm right here at this little roadside motel I'm on the way to Las Vegas and gonna make some vlogs and but uh, slept slept pretty good and then uh, not a bad little room. This tore up. I'm packing up. Make a little half black tea, half green tea tea this morning in this little Keurig thing. Keurig thing. I um, had this when I lived in Kingman, Arizona in my little motel room and uh, I thought I'd break it out for this trip. That's just pretty cool. So making a little half black tea, half green tea this morning. So, uh, I'm staying at All Seasons. I've made a new friend out here, and Sean is running the place, but he's got a great story about how old this place probably was. Hey, uh, I'm not sure exactly how old this motel is, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's older than I am. I'm going to be turning 49 later this year. Uh, they built the Walmart across the street in 1986, and I would ride my bicycle on the back streets to get to it by like J.I. Joe figures, He-Man figures, and stuff like that. And at the time, this place was called the Stevens Motel. Uh, I'm not sure how long it was that, but I'm fairly certain this place was built sometime in the 1960s. Wow. And you, you lived close by, right? Yeah, I, I grew up here. So tell me about that. So you uh, did you work here when you were young or just... No, uh, I've only been here the last few years. Okay, cool. Uh, but I've worked in other, at other hotels in the area and everything. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So he's, he's done a great job, and we talked last night to... I was worn out, it was a long time, and then somebody had to wake him up later on that evening. So, <laughs> the life of being a motel worker. <laughs> so, but thank, nice to meet you, Sean. Nice to meet you too, Walt. All right. Truck stop. 
biggest truck stop in the world or America I don't know probably the world uh, but it doesn't have as many pumps as the Bucky's but it's pretty cool we did a video a full video on this uh, Tina and I did so you might want to check that out I'll put the link up there I think so we'll see maybe it's up here I don't know it's it's up there uh, and then I'll put it in the description so you want to check it out so I'm gonna get some gas and uh, then get back on the road it is a beautiful morning I was so tired I slept in for this morning probably till about 730 but uh, got on the road and had to move Allison which was awesome and she my daughter Allison she had everything planned out to a T did an excellent job had everything ready and uh, of course it still took a long time but it was a really good day and good to see her and she's making some good moves in her life so now we're gonna head into this I-80 truck stop gift store. brother Bruce who was in the army he bought one of these Willie's Jeeps and it come came in a big box he put it together uh, and we drove it all over all over the countryside uh, but he uh, it ended up he put it in a storage building and uh, we had a 1964 and a half Mustang and his Jeep and they both got stolen one night uh, so that's crazy but anyway people do stupid stuff so much in Las Vegas <laughs> that I got to cut down before I get there and uh, but anyway uh, I did get a monster energy drink and I'm drinking that so I'm on the road it's a beautiful day and it's already 73 degrees I'm sure it's going to get a lot warmer as I travel and I'm trying to get now I'm gonna to try to get down to outside of Oklahoma City at 
Kate L. Reno. So somewhere in Oklahoma City, I may get some dinner. But that'll be this evening. So I got to find something cool to eat before I get there. Hoping I'll see something neat and uh, get some good grub here in a little while. Okay, so uh, on my Google Maps, there's a couple of liquor stores on the way. And, and, and when it comes up on Google Maps, it has a rating of, you know, 4.5 or 4.1 or something like that. Uh, this one has a 5.0 rating. So I thought, well, I better go check that place out. It might be really, really good. It right here in Iowa. I don't even know what town I'm in. I just know I'm in Iowa. I think the name of this town is Newton, Iowa. Newton, Iowa. Okay, this place is called Pit Stop Liquors. That's not the one I, that was 5.0. I don't know what this rating was. But uh, I'm going to uh, go in and check this out. Hey, how are you? Good. Never seen this before. Cedar Ridge. Hmm. Interesting. Iowa bourbon whiskey. single malt and a pork cask and this is the bottled in bond that's pretty interesting right there I do like bottled in bond so uh, they had a lot of the usual stuff they, they did have a Pikesville rye which I love Pikesville rye and they had a 1792 small batch and then uh, couple other things the cedar ridge looked kind of interesting so um i'm gonna check the other store out see what their price is and if it's cheaper here i'll head back this way before i get to the interstate might check out some cedar ridge iowa whiskey all right we're gonna go in here and check out world liquors how about that Hi, how are you? Good. Hmm. Cody Road. Buffalo Bill Cody, huh? Ooh, I like this bottle. Made in LeClaire, Iowa. That's pretty neat. Small batch, limited bourbon collection. I'm probably going to get that. Probably need to get that. I whiskey and it's got Buffalo Bill on it. So that's cool. I've seen this uh, fistful of bourbon before too. Got some scotch. Some old Forester and Mictors, nefarious straight bourbon whiskey. Okay, I think I'm gonna pick up the Buffalo Bill Cody just because it's got Buffalo Bill on it. How do you not?
Okay, really cool store. Uh, they have a great selection, but the girl in there is awesome. And uh, I'm glad to pick up some Iowa whiskey. So I got this here bottle of what you saw in the store. It's uh, Cody Road, which it's named after Buffalo Bill Cody. The distillery is um, in LeClaire, Le Iowa. So I'm glad I got this 90 proof straight bourbon whiskey. We'll check it out. So <laughs> I bet the Cedar Ridge is actually pretty good. It was bottled in bond. But if you guys have tried the Cedar Ridge, let me know in your comments. That way uh next time i come through here i can pick that up right right now i just wanted to get something from iowa and heck buffalo bill cody that sounds pretty good the whiskey may not be great it might be great we don't know i'll let you know when we do a live stream from this trip or uh who knows I might do some tastings while i'm in las vegas <laughs> Okay guys, uh, I just I just blew a tire big time on 35 South, heading towards Oklahoma City. And uh, so I had never taken out that spare, of all the time, I've had a couple flat tires, but I, this was a major blowout. Look at this picture of my tire. And you know, I've had flat tires, but I was able to get there to a shop because it's slow leak and stuff like that. But this was a major blowout. And so I'm fig trying to figure out, I get the, the jack out. And this young man from Oklahoma City, his name's Branson. He got out and just took over. Thank God, because, you know, he's in his 20s and he just like, did things so fast so it, I would still be there I would get it done but it would just take me longer and uh, so he helped me big time and I appreciate so Branson if you're watching this thank you so much and uh, he's majoring in mechanical engineering great guy he's gonna have a great future I know so uh, really appreciate that so now I was wanting to go eat at Tucker's, and that's where I was heading. Uh, Tucker's is another Oklahoma onion burger place, and I wanted to try it out. But once that blew, obviously I didn't have time to stop there. So uh, I'm just gonna go to Twin Peaks. I'm not gonna do a video in here because I've been in here before, but eh, we'll see. <laughs> 